continuing from where we left off so we looked at data sets and resources for video classification one of them was tensorflow hub pre-trained models that are available and a lot of resources and notebooks this is one of those action recognition with an inflated 3d cnn this collab like demonstrates recognizing actions in video data using the DeepMind i3D Kinetics 400 module. So you can find more models to detect actions. So what this does is you simply load the model and get the predictions on the pre-trained model. So here is the UCF 101 data set, which is loaded and each video is loaded and then the i3D model is used to predict a class for that sample video. It predicts the top five actions and their percentages. This works quite well, but then you're not training this on your data set or fine tuning it. So if you have a smaller data set that you want to fine tune, this pre-trained model on, then you will look at this tutorial. So the MovieNet tutorial provides basic example code to create, build, and run MovieNet mobile video networks. So models use TF Keras and support inference in TF1 and TF2. So here we have installed our required libraries first. Then you load the model from the URL. Then you define the model with the pre-trained weights and check out its classification on a video that you have. Like you're taking an image here, converting it into a video and checking. Moving on to the transfer learning part. So data set name you're specifying here. This is specified in TF data sets like there are a lot of registered data sets that you can choose from this one is for video classification so you give the data set name and this is like tensorflow data sets builder which builds the data set downloads it generates the splits shuffles it and creates everything like whatever is needed you have the number of classes the number of classes here will be 101 And then you'll be able to see the number of classes, the number of examples that you have for training, the number of test samples. Here you're defining the train and test data sets. And here you can look at some videos. Now you load the pre-trained weights from TensorFlow Hub. You wrap the backbone with a new classifier to create a new classifier head with number of classes as outputs. And then you freeze all the layers except for the final classifier head. Now we will fine tune this model on UCF 101. And we will use Epox 3 because it takes a lot of time and resources to train the whole of UCF 101. And you fit the model. In the end, the top five validation accuracy will be 92.5. To 7%. So that will be the results. And you can also view the training and evaluation progress on the tensor board. So this is one notebook that is already available on the net. So you can try this out. You will need Colab Pro for this as it needs a lot of resources and the 6.5 GB UCF 101 data set takes a lot of this space. That is about UCF 101. So if you were looking to download some part of UCF 101 and just train your the pre-trained kinetics model on a smaller data set, that is a subset of UCF 101, then you can download a subset of it like this. Define the class names that you want in this and then you can use the URL to fetch only specific videos which are in these folders mostly. 
So that is what you can do and you can save the data set to your drive directly. In the next video, we will look at creating a custom data set and fine tuning the pre-trained model with that subset of UCF 101.